Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of the prologue of Bayonetta, and we are in a car. <laughs> she doesn't seem to like she really cares. <laughs> well, when you relax in a car and your feet are through the windshield, it just reeks of I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, that pesky windshield's always getting in the way for people who truly want to relax. <laughs> oh, she, every line she says is amazing. It's awesome. <laughs> That's because she's badass, man. Even as you lose control of your car, she's just... Hmm, this is a nice lollipop. <laughs> oh, wait, is something happening? I'm not paying attention. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice too. She sounds like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we'll apologize to anyone in advance, but she's just got so many good lines, I don't want to spoil them. Exposition, exposition, it's awesome when in this game. <laughs> just a bit long. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little long. Especially since it's Enzo. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I ask. Sexy eyes. I'm a pretty lady. <laughs> And she knows it, which is why she's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be gushing so much about this game, about how it functions, how everything looks. It's, I mean, I keep saying it's one of my favorites for a reason. I just really like how intricate the, um, even the background is. Because it, it doesn't just, it moves in the way that you would imagine a car would move. Oh yeah, I can always appreciate it when detail in a game is that specific. I mean, you've got other traffic in there, you've got billboard signs and building designs, and I mean, Bayonetta's design itself is complicated and very nice at the same time, so... It is very nice. And let me just say that looks more like a watch battery than a bug. Ah, oh, what is this shit? <laughs> That's right, you do run, bitch. <laughs> exactly. What the fuck? What the? Oh, yeah. I'll I'll repeat Enzo's sentiment there. What? That that plane looks familiar. Didn't we see that in another cutscene? Like the very first one. Hmm. hmm. And then Bayonetta's like, "All right, let's deal with." Hello, boys. Do you need another spanking? <laughs> Whoa, epic dodge. Now, you see, it's moments like this. Just the sheer insanity of some of the action pieces. I mean, just that little bit there. It just it just makes this game, like, a joy to watch sometimes. I mean, the fact that they will have had to think out, all right, and then what happened is that she'll... she'll jump onto this spinning piece of metal and they'll just flip through the air like that, and you know, then they'll have had to think how to program that in with motion capture, and... I'd actually never noticed that she was on the other side. I was always focused on this chicken red. <laughs> yeah, I, I was all... I just... I, yeah, I love the detail in this game. Like, the, the amount of effort they went through to make everything just look really nice. All that, sleeping made you soft. that voice sounds so familiar! It couldn't possibly be one of the most prolific voice actresses ever. It is Grey Delisle. Yeah. Th right. So we've got a little mission that just basically teaches you how to use your magic gauge. The more you attack enemies, and the faster it fills up. So for this, I recommend using basic combos that give you as many hits as possible, like this one. I hate this mission. Yeah. I almost rage quit the game my first time doing this because it took it was so hard. Yeah, as one who doesn't usually play action games, Dragon Scale found this a little bit challenging, I'll say. <laughs> it's the understatement of the freaking century. Yeah, I'm more RPG platform girl, so 
first-person shooters and big adventure games like this do not go over well with me, especially when there's many stimuli you have to keep an eye on. <laughs> like this crap! Yeah, still, exceptions can be made when you are playing as a protagonist that can just be this awesome, so... Indeed. Well, I mean, I made, a, I made the exception for Mass Effect. Oh yeah, very true. We might go through that one day as well, but... Can we not go through three? Mm, I might go through 90% of three and then just stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dear viewer, the ending sucks, the end. <laughs> or we'll just say, Shepard won, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone lived happily ever after. Hooray. Ooh, pure platinum. Awesome. Your oh. first of many? Hopefully my first of many. I mean, I played this game to obsession, so hopefully I'll be on quite alright at it. But in the next chapters, I will be setting down a few basic rules that I'm going to be using for the playthrough, but I'll talk about that next time. I just love this choreography with them. It just, it basically looks like a pas de deux. It's so cool. Yeah, I, it's kind of like an, a hint that, like, they, they could really work well together if they weren't, like, busy trying to shoot each other at the same time. And a cameo by Optimus Prime. I want to be with the sexy girls. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, back to business. But before we do, Grudge, would you like a cup of platinum coffee? Yes, I would, actually. Because <laughs> if their coffee is as anything as awesome as this game is, then I imagine it's going to be the best coffee in the universe. For those who have no idea what we're talking about, the eagle-eyed people will notice that the platinum coffee was on the billboard behind Bayonetta. It's the little details that matter. Well, I mean, they were also driving on a highway that said they were going to be going to Magic Land. So does that mean that they were going to Disneyland? <laughs> I've never actually noticed that before. That's very nice. Even though tears are there, I down Imagine if this was all taking place in Disneyland. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it goes like, Oh, the angels have followed me here as well, have they? And I was just about to enjoy the parade. <laughs> god. Oh, man. I like the little details on the bottles as well. Like, um, They have yeah. labels. Yeah, like the one that he just used to explain what Paradiso was, it's called Utopia, and then I think the red one's like Devil's something, I didn't see it quick enough. But they've all got names relating to uh, what they're supposed to represent, it's a nice little touch. Yeah. And if I'm noticing right, the actual, the one for the human world didn't have a label on it, it was just a bottle. Hmm. And that, that's basically just the game saying that humans are worthless. <laughs> Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Yeah, keep your priorities in order. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, who, who cares if the worlds of heaven and hell just destroy each other and throw the balance into complete chaos? It, ooh, toys. Radan has many of them. Many of which you have to unlock through very uh, difficult means. Maybe I'll do a bonus video at the end of all this that shows off all the weapons, because I'm pretty sure that Dragon Scale hasn't seen all of them, so... I've seen many of them, but not all of them. My main concern was getting through the damn game! Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. All the secret crap could wait! Ooh, shiny. <laughs> I love her face, and it's like, ooh, I could get into this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yummy. <laughs> that face... Background is just creepy. Now, I personally want every time, like, I think it'd just be great if, like, she had a moment like this for any time she got new weapons. It'd be amazing. Can you imagine all the different mocaps that they could have done for all the different weapons? Like, you know, just. <laughs> God. I mean, I'm surprised by the amount they did already. I mean,. You know, you can see the animation of her combat and how it. they had to sort of think of, right, and when she does this move it can link into this one, but then if the player doesn't do anything it needs to somehow return back to her default stance. And so they had to do a lot of motion capture to sort of get all the movements right. And Yeah, because if, if they tried to uh, do, like, if they stopped an attack, they can't just have her, like, teleport back to her original thing. That just wouldn't make sense. 
It's one of the things, again, I appreciate about this game, the fact that they, they went through so much effort to make it really smooth, to make everything stream together, and, you know, in an action game, you need that to happen, especially one as crazy as this. Batman moment. Now, who to pin this on? Enzo. Her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. I love this line. I love it. You did beat motherfucker. <laughs> Basically sums up uh, Enzo's part in this game. <laughs> right, let's see how we did. Team Little Angels, how did we do? Ooh, pretty. I should have been a pole dancer. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't doubt that you could pull it off, love. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, now that chapter one's out, now that the prologue's out of the way. Even we'll see you in chapter one of Bayonetta next time. Bye bye. Later, guys!